My name is Rhapsody and welcome to Atomicrop's Megaton update. The Megaton update includes a Megaton tractor, more farm animals, a polygamy upgrade, 16 new items, lots of balance changes, and new rare camps. So I figure it's probably about time to dig into it. I'm gonna change character because I've been with Lavender for quite a while here. And we'll leap into a year one while we're still sorting out what is now available. So immediately I'm seeing that the bar up here has eight different pips in it. That's probably our energized bar. I have to imagine as I perform any action on the farm, it'll increase and then it'll show that I'm energized. Hopefully it'll also show how long it takes for that energized state to disappear. Fingers crossed. Because I always get kind of blindsided by when it ends. Where I easily could have just done another action to prolong it had I known it was about to end. Ooh, Namakri, lovely. Do like an earlier Namakri, just so I can get all of the money that I require in the first season. Ooh, Patch Fertilizer as well. Hmm. So I have been told that in this update, Sunflowers are dead. Sunflower strats are no longer strats. I don't know what's killed them. Tilled soil lasts longer. The other one was air freshener, but it just looked different. And air freshener is just, you know, tractors. Uh, the usage of tractor puts you in energized mode, which since that does nothing in combat, I don't really care about. Holy cow. Oh, hello. Megaton tractor kills enemies, cuts wheat. That disappeared a little quickly there. Kills enemies, cuts weeds, and I suppose it does some other stuff as well. Hopefully we get to reread that when we get another tractor. I'll just drop it and cycle it out with the other tractor multiple times until I see actually what the text says. Because, yeah, I can't do it here. That was awesome extra day, all of that's kind of normal, beautiful. We did also start out with an extra two stats to both fighting and farming. Which is neat. Not half bad. Uh, you know, it's... it's I could have gotten something better, but I could have gotten something worse. So I can't really complain, at least too loudly or consistently about it. Trying to make sure that I don't take all the early damage that's caused a lot of uh, recent heartbreak and tragedy. By the way, uh, props to the one person, uh, it was, uh, God's Demon, I actually think, uh, who figured out the title of the previous one. Not that it was particularly arcane, but I always love when the niche little thing I'm trying to reference in the title gets pointed out by a commenter. Because some of the titles are just, you know, here's what happens in the episode, but a lot of them are, I don't know how to say what happens in the episode without spoiling the episode, so... I'm gonna kind of hide it behind a joke or a euphemism or uh, a reference. Largely, it's arcane references I go with that. Woo! Hyperactive pigs. One thing I did note actually there. Wait, did I even get any pigs? I don't know if I freed any pigs from the from any camps over there. So maybe, maybe these are just the pigs that I started with. A hell of a lot, honestly. I mean, we have patch fertilizer, so even if we don't intend to make these into mega crops, this is still how we want to plant them. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing that energized bar in the. T yeah, damn it. I'm not seeing that bar disappear over time or anything like that. those. You know what? I have the tractor right now. Might as well. Cool! <laughs> so it expanded my soil as well as immediately matured all of my crops. Ooh. That seems kind of nutty. That is one thing I did know about this update, is uh, that a suggestion I made in a previous update 
appears to have been uh, in a previous update uh, a suggestion i made in a previous video whether or not it impacted the development at all in fact i i'm almost certain that it would not have uh but it has made its way into the game in a way that makes me very very appreciative and that is you can make mega crops out of roses now and they give you an extra rose for having done so Ooh, if only we did that a little earlier that's a horse and that's a oh, weed whacker and horse shame to miss out on each i should probably get the smg in the upgrade right yeah because i'm gonna want to do some farming at the end of today yeah let's pop down the date tree as well i don't think there's anything wrong with that okay so we got extra to rate of fire here i really would prefer the uh damage and accuracy up just means I have to get a little less close to all of these enemies. One other thing I've noticed is the uh, the return to camp things now exist in the first tier areas rather than just the second tier areas. I love it. Great upgrade. I think that's pretty damn good. Now I tend to clear, you know, I tend to clear the first tier areas usually in the same day that I unlock them. So I don't think it'll be particularly impactful for me, but it can be at least for running back to base, saving a little bit of time if you go in the wrong direction. Maybe saving a little bit of time at the end of your clear, even. We've still got the Megaton Tractor coming up, so I actually want to see... Ooh, there's an animation for when you gain an extra health up as a result of picking up extra heartbeats. Me. Just trying to note all the changes. Uh, I, I do want to try and throw a Megaton Tractor out here, just see what it does. And killed them all, I guess. Fine. Lack of tractor. And then Megaton tractor kills enemies, cuts weed, controls crops, breaks soil crust, and tills soil. Good lord. Damn. Take a break, please. You're doing way too much. That said, now I'm going to look for ways to exploit it. Of course. It matures crops instantly. That has to be pretty wildly abusable. Let's get the cow, because I'm still looking for some watering right now. That's my second cow, so I could probably start going for chickens. Actually, I probably should have killed this beforehand, just in case I got fertile eggs. Extra tractor slug. All right, I guess I'll go back and get the whacker tractor. That's the whacker tractor, but the megaton tractor is whacker. Done. Fine. We'll bounce out of here. Okay, so I'll just drop that there. Honestly, it doesn't seem it's going to get significantly better than that. Again, I'm trying to stay to the same idea of making the farm relatively square. I mean, especially with the patch fertilizer, that seems like a good idea for us. Okay, unfortunately, just gotta ignore all the enemies for a moment here, just so I can get these down. Uh, I have eight roses right now. When did that happen? Hang on. <laughs> okay, yeah, getting this early is absolutely ridiculous. Although now I do run into the problem of running out of seeds. Because they are kind of, like, the supply of seeds is kind of built for the idea that they will take a while to grow. Thankfully... I've got an anemocry at the moment for handling that. But I wonder how I deal with that in the future. Maybe this makes Fertility Pro much more ridiculous. The watering tractor was already ridiculous, so I hesitate to say it makes the watering tractor more ridiculous. But I, I guess it does. It doesn't have to not be ridiculous already in order to be more ridiculous at some other point. Case in point. Carrot top. Probably just 
loot those before we leave. Also a new end screen. It looks okay. The scroll bar here, this is me scrolling as much as possible. You can see all of those are flooding past, but scroll bar is real slow. Smallest, tiniest complaint to make, I know, but one I made nonetheless. Uh, all right, all guns fire a butcher knife. We'll take that. Ooh, rake. Perfect. That's a gourd for blocking bullets. I want that. I want that. Maybe I should also get the move speed and bounce. Yeah, I do feel a little bit slow. Hmm. I am so tempted. What am I tempted to do? I'm tempted to bite off more than I can chew. Definitely gonna buy all of those regardless. Do I go to a second tier area immediately? I'm what I have a lot of health already though. Maybe maybe it's kind of acceptable. Ray of fire, I've got a damage increase, I've got a gourd. Alright. I'm gonna go to a second tier area immediately. Uh, and since I already have two cows on the farm and the pressure uh, pressure watering can, I'm going to go to the second tier area of the plains. You. Also, Megaton Tractor is almost back up. Oh, rad! New animals! So I know they said that they have different farm animals. None of those looked incredibly familiar to me. Thank you. <laughs> Got it. There's a hog and a hummingbird. The hummingbird doubles the growth of, uh, doubles crop's growth rate in an area, and the hog charges enemies, tills soil, and sometimes expands farmable area. So it looks like they're upgraded versions of base things, like the hummingbird is an upgraded bee, and the hog is an upgraded pig. I wonder what that means, though. Like, will that... Will B upgrades also upgrade the hummingbird? I honestly probably should have just gone across this entire area looking for the most impactful camps and then gone for those. Rather than just this kind of whatever's nearest approach that I'm taking at the moment, especially because I was dropping a tractor. So I've already lost three health doing this. Just because I'm simply not well equipped enough to like, really, honestly, truly belong here yet. I'm kind of just going to get covered from all angles out. Three health now. Life is suddenly getting a lot more terrifying. No, never mind. We got four health. Everything's completely fine. Nothing has ever been wrong. Uh, I'm going to take the upgraded Anemocry there over the Rain Cloud just because I can immediately grow with the Megaton Tractor. Which seems like a great way to, in one day, succeed a season. Especially lacking uh, your know, Sunflowers is a dynamite way of getting that done now. I'm gonna teleport myself back here. Uh, partly because it takes a little longer for the boss to actually get to me, buying us a little time to do some farming here. No! Don't take away my energy status! No! <laughs> I worked so hard for that! Time to follow around this monster pod and just finish them off. Seriously, though, I don't want to have to worry about all of the goobers that a friend is going to try and spawn for me. I... I feel like I've made enough money here in the first season that I shouldn't need to immediately pop the Megaton Tractor on a upgraded Nemecre. What if I just did it anyway?
Yeah, this seems pretty good. I mean, I do have to buy a gun today to set myself up for exploring for the rest of the season. So I guess as much money as I can possibly get is perfect. Let's also find somewhere to use the lacquer tractor. That's that line. So now if hogs can help defend, maybe I can have a turret free run that also doesn't uh, actually go back to base. I don't know how effective the hogs are at defending my base though. Primary concern there. If I could go back exploring, I would already be back exploring right now. Unfortunately, the sides get locked off now. Very little else I get to do right now than uh, just stand around waiting. Odd crops down there. Come on. <sighs> That'll do. Yikes. Missed out on a stat upgrade for three there. Ooh, new end screen as well. Do anything on hover? No, it's just new icons. But it, not even new icons for all of them. It's a new icon for a couple of them, but it's just overall UI haul. Beeson Whisperer. Beeson are harmless and drop fertilizer on contact. Beeson. I'm guessing those are bison that fly. So the the do they kind of look like it. Hang on, let's see. Eh, not really. So I guess those are the things that have hordes running around. This is also new. Daylight savings. Days last longer. I really wish I had some roses left. Ah, silly me. I had to go and get a, a rake and a butcher. Butcher bayonet as well as a gourd. Ugh. Wasted. That. Two upgrades. Both on rate of fire. At least no homing. Take three bridge building materials. And... I kind of think I want to go back and finish clearing the area I was working on. Another anemocry would absolutely suit me fine. There it is. So it does seem like... Yeah, it does seem like certain enemies here are still aggressive to me. Enemies that I would have thought of as bison-esque. I guess they're more mammoths. Harvest Moon. Crops grow faster at night, as well as Moth Nest. Release explosive moths whenever crops merge. I'm going to take the Harvest Moon. Whoop! New animals as well. A cow. Waters crops, just naturally. And a hummingbird. Doubles the crops growth in an area. So this might be like a more powerful cow, because it says the same thing. But... I... it looks different? Intriguing. Oh, wild! Just a pen full of a bunch of different animals. I like this. This, uh, I'm guessing is one of the new rare camps. To find a couple more of these, especially in the early game. Maybe the strat of going to the second tier area immediately is a really good idea now because I'm finding pretty good camps out here. And of course, different... I was about to call them different Pokemon, different farm animals. <laughs> Vinaigrette and Fat Grub. I've seen these before. I'll take Fat Grub for tilling soil. Has a chance to drop a fertilizer. And seed. 
Yeah, my inability to deal with hordes is probably the biggest weakness of this build right now. Like, I'm just firing to that horde the whole time, and it's still terrifying me. I'm going to take the aggressive stats up there. I know I'm missing out on help. Okay. Yep. It's it's these. It's these. These are the Beeson. Ugh, not a super turret. Uh, I don't really have a speed up or anything like that. So basically, if I want... Oh, I have roses back at base. All right, fine. I have to go right now. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a free uh, Earthquake Scroll right now. Or Cleats. Gosh forbid, Cleats. Oh, this is going to take a billion years. Please, soil, get tilled faster. Oh, my hogs and pigs are helping me out with this a little bit. Okay, much appreciated. Still not got anything to clear the weeds on my farm, though. Pop all that down. Give it some good fertilizer as well. Oh, I was really hoping I would have been able to drop the... Uh, Drop the Megaton before the end of the day. Yeah, that was way too late. Ooh, I can get married right now, or I can get all guns fire a squirrel, or I can get bloodlust. New item. Being energized doubles damage and increases speed. Okay. Not half bad. It does give the... Uh, it does give Energize a reason to exist in battle, so it synergizes with, I guess, like, air freshener and stuff like that. I'm gonna get married really early here, though. That's also five extra fighting stats for us right there. New sound effects for all of those things. Lovely. Um, Kind of cool to just piece it. Now, second tier area to the right has been finished. Let's just go north and do this natural area. Actually, hang on. Before we leave, only makes sense to drop that bomb. Take all of these and actually start making some new crops. We can explore at any point, and as much as I desperately do want to explore as early as possible to see all of the new stuff, this setup is just too good to turn down. Especially because I do have, like, pretty reliable watering and even defenses while I'm away from my camp here. Let's bounce. Yeah, only took us 30 seconds there. That's, yeah, that I think that was a useful expenditure of time. Probably does mean that I won't clear this whole area in a day, though. Turret Growth Aura, Chicken Calicree. I don't really like Turret Growth Aura. I mean, I know I have a Super Turret, but I don't intend on picking any others up. Microchip or Bubble Shield. Take a Bubble Shield there for shields when I harvest crops. Damn, I'm actually healing up pretty rapidly through my exploration of this area. You love to see it. Participation trophy. Crops no longer require fertilizer, and it calls them giant crops in capital letters now. Take a chicken. I'm lamenting for a while that I haven't had one of those yet. While I'm here, I'm actually gonna quickly. Unlock the bridge, walk over, and then walk back. Basically, just to have the ability to teleport back there at any will, uh, at any time I 
Juice. Another whack a tractor? Really? We have the ability to hold two tractors and one incredible tractor, and the other one is constantly just the whack a tractor. Looks like someone's mad at me and trying to make a point for the video game. Tom Crops devs, are you mad at me? I'm sorry. Whatever I did. Love it. Just seeded all the bad RNG in my game. I say that while I'm having like a quite, quite good, quite run. With 16 more items in the game. I think it's going to be like considerably more unreliable that you end up with the item that you're specifically aiming for. Uh, which I think leans into the strengths of this game, right? I think the whole kind of like roll with what you have, roll with the flow, roll with the punches, that kind of thing, is, is one of the most powerful aspects of this game. Defining your build differently. That's one of the things that uh, I think Rito had uh, more of a concern with back when we were both playing the game, is that, uh, and that was before any updates shipped for the game, by the way. Uh, so it's, it's definitely not relevant to the design of the game as it currently stands uh but both of us ended up feeling like all of these runs kind of end up being the same you just end up with all the items that you had in all the other runs and unless you choose differently or don't have enough flowers it's flowers being roses you kind of just end up being the same and this uh the increased variety of items in the game addresses that very handily in a way that I feel strengthens the gameplay loop. Considerably. I'm very pleased. <laughs> Every single update to this game so far has made me far more interested. Free zone. Beautiful. Eh, decent amount of money that day, I guess. Four for increased fighting stats by two. I don't think increased fighting stats by two matters to me that much anymore. Yeah, I think I'll just wait for them to be selling better things. Okay. Take an SMG with... Ooh! Damn! So he did not get the damage and accuracy one, but with all of those on top of one another, this should still wreck pretty hardcore. Take those, and then bounce. Uh, I did not want to put that down. Dang it. I wasn't trying to put down the sunflower. I was relying on the fact that usually when you're putting down crops and the crops rotate around to a sunflower, the game just says, no, you're not putting a sunflower down, you idiot. And then just doesn't put the sunflower next. I've uh, started to rely on that in a way that I probably shouldn't. Oh, I wonder what Moth's Nest would be currently doing. Because whatever it does, it would be doing it constantly. Right? and then boom I don't know why I do that when I immediately intend to walk away but it seems negligent not to use the Megaton tractor every time it's up also none of these are going to form a mega crop just because I don't have many of them so I guess I don't really care how I plant these And we bounce. South. Did we clear the whole north last time? I thought we did. Hmm. Might have to check that. Alright. Thanks for the fertilizer, B Sun. Prophylaxis. Fine. The other one was farm stats up, so I don't really care. Uh, but now I'm happy to take pretty much every B. I also want to know if that affects the hummingbirds, but 
I don't necessarily know if I'll actually even be able to identify that at the time. The extra fertilizer. Be down. No! <laughs> I always get things to spawn right before I get teleported away, and then they don't come with me. Goodbye, Soul Crusher. I told you I was just going to bully him out of existence. I didn't say it this episode, I said it a couple episodes ago, that there are a lot of different weapons in the game that just straight up bully that boss out of existence, but it's good to see that that is retained. The Megaton Tractor comes up so quickly. Yeah, I'm just going to run out of seeds constantly doing that. Maybe it's time to start buying more seed packages? I've always avoided that so far just because I expand... And expand. Uh, I go to the new territory so quickly that I almost never need supplementary seeds. But maybe this is the time that I get broken of that. I mean, the day is new, the meta is new, right? The patch is new as well. Only seems right to change with the times. As I was talking about the the optimal uh, the optimal gameplay loop, including rolling with the punches, I too should roll with the punches. Devise the new meta. Because leaving all of this open space... I can tell you one thing about the meta, and only one thing, and that's that this is not meta. <laughs> this is not that. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't put the tractor down immediately before the season rolls over. I've done it before, it just wastes. Whoa, what's this? Uh, lard. Reduce enemy bullet speeds. Ooh. Nasty. I love it. Moth nest. Release explosive moths when crops merge. Beautiful. And polygamy! Marry multiple people! Yeah! I've been wanting that for ages. Gore to block more bullets. Sure. A cow and fertilizer for collecting fertilizer reduces tractor cooldown. Uh... Collecting fertilizer reduces tractor cooldown, and uh, a megaton? Seems good to me. Seems real, real good to me. Did you two swap? Alright, why not? I could actually marry Norman right now. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the health and then marry Norman. Roo, meet Norman. Norman is my normal husband, a normal man. You can tell by the very, frankly, calming and, uh, and natural way that he said, would you like to enjoy an alcohol with me? I would, Norman. I would. Probably don't need the extra upgrade. Is there anything else? Uh, I'm probably going to start ending up with an excess of money. Sure, let's actually start getting the extra seeds. I mentioned that I think it might be meta. Maybe let's explore if it is. Give it a chance to prove itself meta. All right. uh, now bailing out of here should be as simple as just waiting for this to open up. And then, beautiful. Oh, God, don't tell- No, this is the second tier area of the plains! I thought that was going to take us back to the forest. Whatever, that'll get me out of here. Dang it! <laughs> you got me, game. You absolutely got me. Should be going through the left here. 
because I went right last time and I'm pretty sure I didn't even cover the left at all. Yeah, my aggressive stats are absolutely ridiculous right now. I could probably go to the third tier area down here. Third tier, second tier area down here, rather. There are, as of yet, no third tier areas. I probably also didn't need to pick up more fighting stats there. I did, and I immediately regretted as soon as I started. I'm so used to that just being the default that I didn't even think about. Backup generate. We can store two of these Megaton Blasts. These are absolutely insane, by the way. Just nutty as squirrel poop. I might as well use a couple. Ginseng, stay energized longer. Sure. This, uh, this is a new thing. Upgrade all seeds to top tier. Oh. The seeds on my farm? The seeds in my inventory? Fertility seed pro versus laxative. I'm going to take fertility seed pro here. Our oh, fertilizer isn't our problem. The laxative. Oh, I didn't need to kill those uh, bees, son. Another Renemacry. I know it was up against uh, an earthquake, and I've been asking for those, but not in that scenario. Turkey removes weeds. So that's going to be an upgraded chicken, effectively. Cow as well. So if it seeds in my inventory that the the, uh, the chair upgrades, get the hog there. Uh, if it seeds in my inventory that get upgraded, I want to go back as soon as I have as many seeds as possible because that seems like a really good way to start funding my late game. Maybe I should plant all of my roses before I do it though. Considering how many hogs I have on the farm, I feel pretty justified in staying out here late. Earthquake. Stay out a little bit past my bedtime. Just to get this area finished off. Another whack attractor game. You really seem to want me to have that whack attractor, I guess. Crampons. Weed stomp. I'm gonna guess that's exactly the same as cleats. Uh, for multiple reasons, but honestly, the most common one is not what it says, uh, in that it stomps weeds. Uh, and more the crampons and cleats seem uh, seem uh, flavor-wise to have been chosen similarly for a reason. Yeah, it looks like my hogs just protected all my crops. That is absolutely ridiculous. Wait, I don't have till missiles, do I? I don't. Oh, that's... Okay, that's going to be the uh, the explosive moths when the crops merge. I thought those were butterflies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, don't have that. Uh, I mean, I kind of just bounce, right? Mm. Yeah, I can. Sniper rifle is actually fine for the remaining areas I have. Those. I mean, I should probably just bomb both of these. Go through fertilizing all the crops and then pull all of them up, put down the second Nemecry and then walk away. Uh, 
Namakuri, and now all I gotta do is walk away, Ryan. Just walk away. Use your legs, walk away. Get out of here, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan, what are you doing? Why are you staying here and fertilizing each and every one of these crops? Ryan. You knew what you had to do. You were supposed to be the chosen one. Yeah, let's go out in this direction. No reason not to. My god, by the end of doing that, the first Megaton Tractor is back. <laughs> yeah, Megatron, uh, Megaton Tractor is absolutely nutty. It was a golden pupa reward, if I remember correctly. So it's it's fair for it to be nutty. That's where you want the nutty things. The things that you define your run by. Nemecree, obviously. If seeds are my problem, then a Nemecree is my solution. Ugh, turret versus Scarecrow. Could have gotten second tier, uh, uh, farm animal. God, again, I was about to say Pokemon. Apparently, it... The worst thing about that is that Reflex is trained in the Temtem series, where I should be saying Temtem, not Pokemon. Ugh. So I'm wrong also on the level that if I was actually referring to the thing I'm trying to refer to, I would still be wrong. Good lord, that's hard to wrap my head around. Oh, new thing. Boyfriend. Oh, right, so it just gives you like 100 fertilizer? Not bad. I mean, I think that could be a more common. No. Should it be more common? I don't know. I was about to say, I think that should be more common than. Uh, than. rare. Seems to follow the pattern of only being in the second tier areas like the others. Sprout Energy, Growth Aura, I'll take Growth Aura. I don't really like Sprout Energy. I think it's quite bad, in fact. Pupa, lovely. Um, I'll take the Monster Masher. All I gotta do is find this Golden Pupa and I can bounce. Please. Oh, you're a good deal far away. Cleats and crampons. Perfect. Right. It's down here that our exit was. Getting too far. Getting too far. Never mind. It was. Good thing I committed. down a rain cloud just to get the rest of these harvested as quickly as possible. Pull all of that up. Get the anemone Getting all the fertilizer I can basically ever want. I am very, very glad that the, uh, the, what are they called again? Sunflowers. There we go. They've been not meta for a total of one episode. I already forgot their GD names. I'm very glad that they're not meta anymore because it feels a lot easier to get fertilizer right now. I don't know what is even influencing that though. Like, Beast on Whisperer hasn't actually been super huge for influencing that. I don't know why I'm getting so much more. Anything I need to do right now? Not really. Pull up a couple of these and then leave, I think. Wait a second! <laughs> Dropped the wrong tractor! <laughs> oh. Yeah, because it drops the second tractor, not the tractor that's out. I'll never understand that. Like, it seems like you should... All interactions should... 
interact with your primary tractor. Oh gosh, please help me find this thing. Uh, am I going to spend my whole day just looking for the Megaton tractor? It'll be worth it. The Megatron tractor is that good. Oh god. Don't you don't you dare. Don't you dare tell me it despawned because I left. Scary mask, scarecrow's deal more damage, I'll take the harvest shield. I I think I've been exhaustive here now. Oh you You know what they say? You win some, you dim some. That's what they say, right? You win some, and then if you lose some, you rectify that by going and eating dim sum and having a much nicer time. That's how I've always heard it. I don't know, it might be a regional thing. That sucks. <laughs> Uh, thankfully, I don't have too many seasons left to lament, uh, what I've just done to myself, but... Whew. Ugh. That sucks. <laughs> oh well. Stop focusing on it, Ryan. Otherwise, you'll throw the rest of the run accidentally. And... I think, if there's anything we can all agree on, it's that we do not need more throwing from me. I think we're all full up on throwing from me. Actually, I do have a lot of quite high quality things. Let's start planting those. Especially because they will become mega crops pretty much instantaneously. Get away from me! Oh! Damn it. This farm was supposed to be mine! Ever since the Disco Elysium. Actually, not even the Disco Elysium series. I think it was. Was it Dicey Dungeons was the first time in ages I'd just done voices for the channel? It was that and then the Outer World streams shortly thereafter that have effectively just pivoted me to... to constantly doing voices. It's not necessarily entirely at home in this series and won't necessarily continue. I mean, there's not even that much dialogue to read. But it's just interesting to me that that's become my natural default so quickly. Oh, gotta love instantly making giant crops constantly. It's not the right season for all of these to instantly mature or anything like that, though. And unfortunately, we don't have any other way to make them instantly mature. There's no other way in the game so far to make them instantly mature. Definitely is not a way uh, to do that that I accidentally threw away. Oops. I will maintain uh, that I... Um, Pretty sure I had the right tractor out at the time that I changed them. Like, you can go back and check. Please do, in fact, and tell me whether I'm uh, dumb or have a point. Those are the two options. Every questionnaire you fill out, the majority of your choices have already been made by the person who designed the questionnaire. Uh, and in this circumstance, I'm effectively just asking uh, the two questions. Did I mess up? I mean, okay, never mind. I definitely did mess up, but is it understandable? I should have checked how much the sunflowers were doing there. It's another gourd. <gasps> Double cream. Foraging berries reduces tractor cooldown. Now, in the previous patch, this also worked with chicken eggs. I don't know if it currently does, but I'm willing to find out. Let's go get married to someone. Root soldier, sure. Air freshener, fine. Microchip, okay. 
What up, Borage? So few games let you be a pansexual polygamist farmer. A tragic, tragic uh, dearth of them exists in the game industry, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it should become its entire own genre, and then I will be sated. In fact, no amount will sate my thirst. More. No, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else I want to do. Yeah, you're not selling, uh, not, not selling the tractor I lost? <laughs> Decent harvest. I mean, now I have an overwhelming amount of seeds. I don't know what's different uh, between now and previously uh, that has resulted in me having a lot more seeds, and I will never know unless I want to recall traumatic memories. Just gonna spend the whole time focusing on it despite the fact that I'm very clearly trying not to. Ah! It's because it's a my bad kind of thing. Like, when other things cause me distress or problems in a game, distress, yeah, overly stated, obviously. Uh, when other things are the cause of my failure or of some negative in games, I'm actually way better at uh, responding to those than when it's me. Which I guess is actually why I immediately tried to set up, okay, well, who, whose fault was it? in order to kind of, uh, uh, exculpate myself. In public, I know. Uh, that's probably all we're gonna wanna do right now, and then pop that bad boy down. already fully explored the second tier area of that. I think I fully explored the second tier area. No, wait, I didn't finish. Did I finish this side? Ugh. That is one thing that does need to be fixed. There are a lot of situations where you teleport and then immediately take damage due to just an enemy is there or enemy spawning directly on top of you. I haven't seen enemy spawning on top of me in this patch so far, so that easily could have already been addressed, but clearly you can still spawn on top of enemies when you teleport. Uh, source just did it. <laughs> That's how I am. Right, never mind, we're going back to camp. This is all really clear. Ah, it's the north that hasn't been finished. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I have camps that I care about right now. I don't think I need to go back. I think I'm just gonna rely on the hogs to defend me. There you go. Let's get the farming stat up. Turkey. I don't think I've gotten the golden goop of this area either. Which makes me all the more happy to stay here for a bit. Other side, cut an additional weed. Bad at all. Another anemone, obviously exactly the kind of thing we're looking for. You gotta say, pretty good placement of that. We are blocking basically all of the bullets that come to us now, so maybe. Maybe I should be a lot more reckless. Walk into enemies, avian placenta there. Obviously incredible for us. Just a random chest, as well as a golden cupa. Chest has razor weeds, water witching, and tillmiss. Okay, so it has three upgrades in that chest. Neat. That is a chest that I want to find as early as possible every single time I play them. Uh, 
Cree. I'll take this Anemic Cree and... Rose Bouquet, a beautiful bundle of roses. Did that just give me roses? Is that it? Did I have set? I don't know if that gave me the seven roses that I had. I'll just buy health. There's no reason not to right now. Uh, I don't know if that gave me the seven roses that I had or if it gave me roses to plant. I should probably end up checking the footage afterwards just to see. Uh, all areas are cleared now, right? Yes. All areas are fully cleared. I actually can't even see the stuff behind Borage there, unfortunately, so I can't just count all of my golden pupil results. Wait, I still have that man who wants to upgrade all of my seeds to the south. To their highest tier. You know what? While all of those are there, I'm going to go... Is, is this actually the air? <gasps> Did I actually go to the right air? No, I didn't. Never mind. I didn't. This is all bad. Everything's wrong. I'm so sorry. Let's try and rectify that as quickly as possible. While I've got all of those planted, I'm going to go here. I'm going to interact. I'm going to see what... It says seeds, not your crops, though. Did that do anything? Like, I know I collected, like, a couple seeds there, a couple rare seeds, but did it actually do anything? It definitely didn't do anything on the farm. Okay, I guess. So, all of that soil... Uh, in fact, I should probably till just a little bit more of it. Plant that and gain basically all of <laughs> all of the fertilizer that could exist. So I can make a mega apple tree. I can't make a mega banana tree or a mega date tree yet, though. I guess my build is transitioning into rather than out of trees. That, that's a kind of shock. Okay, pretty much ready to harvest these whenever. If only I had some sort of a... <laughs> I'm stop doing that joke. Part of it's a joke and part of it is just the thought pattern will not leave my head of what could have been. Oh, hell yeah! Herbicide blood also means that this is dealing that No, it's razor weeds also means this is dealing damage to enemies. So I can just walk towards them in order to murder them. That's damn cool. I should probably go and try and look at what the hummingbird is doing. I'm honestly not seeing the hummingbird. Although I do have a growth aura, so I should actually stay on the inside here as well. Cloud would be so good right now. Game, had to spare a rain cloud for a lonely old soul. Maybe not so far, at least. 
get a decent score for the day, but... Gosh, we just had a rain cloud. Oh, so much faster. Please have a rain cloud on sale. No, but there is an earthquake. I'll take an earthquake, sure. Uh, fine. Assault Rifle Mega Upgrade. Can't be mad at that. Save the rest of my money for later. Once I stand over here, these should be done pretty quickly. the actual aura. Okay, so it affects them from here, but I move slightly up and it's gone. Not particularly large is the answer we've gleaned from that. Come on. You know what? That's enough. I'm not staying around all day waiting for this to happen. Get the next Dynamicry down. <laughs> oh, yes. That's pretty much everything I ever wanted. At the end of today, I've got to remember that all of the crops that I have will immediately uh, auto-harvest themselves. Auto-mature and auto-harvest, so that's when I want to plant down all of my rare crops. That's also, I believe, the last day they count for score. I don't think they count for score uh, in the nuclear winter in the final fight. Although I'm not actually certain about that. If anyone has any confirmation one way or the other, I'd really love to know. What I'm going to do now is, like, re-explore a couple areas because I'm not doing anything on the farm at the moment other than watering a couple of the crops, but I'm still not watering that many of them, to be real. Uh, and my general hope here is either to find beasts on hordes and just stand inside of them or to find a scroll that I'd missed. Especially a scroll that I'd missed. Obviously anything that I'd missed, but a scroll especially. Uh, and then use that to get a rain cloud. That is the level of desperation I'm at right now. Yeah, we're not exploring more. Wait, go back. I should make sure I'm always topped up on water while I'm doing this fight at the absolute least so that my pressure watering can is fast enough. Borage is doing some of the watering for me as well. Much appreciated, Borage. Thank you for pitching in. Navigating on the farm becomes real dangerous when you've got all these giant crops here, though. Yikes. I'm not going to have the fertilizer I want. That's going to be a problem. Mm, I guess I'm getting... Not getting any fertilizer while I'm harvesting these. Yeah, that makes sense. I was wondering why I was getting fertilizer while harvesting those. That's probably just that I was killing enemies and interacting with uh, farm animals to get laxative going on. Should probably focus a little bit more on that. I mean, that tractor is completely surpassed by the fact that I can just walk and get all the benefits of this tractor. I wonder if the Wacker tractor is on its way out because the crampons seem to seem to invalidate it. I have 35 seconds to plant as many of my high tier crops as possible. Uh, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to get these sunflowers down and then harvest them. So it looks 
like it takes about 40 in order to get one of these mature. Let's see, it's full maturity. down as possible. I know I already wasted the time that I actually needed to be putting these down, but that's fine. Hopefully they count still. Oh, my god, look at all those seeds. That's way too many. Yeah, that's a pretty good day. Drone Earthquake. Throw all of those out, and then 29 gambles here. Myself a hell of a lot of extra health, a couple of roses, cornucopias. I don't know if that should be able to give you roses. It seems like by the time you use that, you no longer have any need for roses. Maybe that's just me, though, so prescribe that for everyone. Unfortunately, without a rain cloud, we're actually going to have a little bit of difficulty here. In particular, uh, the enemy is going to make a lot of my crops uh, very dead when it does what it's currently doing. Get some water so they can counteracted a little bit. Honestly, getting a full harvest isn't going to matter. I just need the things that are currently there to grow up. Whatever, it doesn't matter the order of these now. So. This apple tree down. Sunflower down as well. Yeah, unfortunately all of these are going to take so long to grow. Corpse, Scopia. It's time for you to die. Uh, that's not going to be enough on the harvest. Never mind, that is. Whew. I'm kind of hopeful that the last day doesn't contribute to your score. I mean, where would it? There's no section for nuclear winter. That's actually really interesting. This uh, this has broken what I said was the, the height limit for a non-sunflower run. Or rather, a non-sunflower breaking kind of run. Uh, so... I think it might have addressed a couple of the problems, obviously, uh, by fixing the, the, the way you could break with sunflowers, by having a bunch of sunflowers, having a bunch of fertilizer, you know, just building towards having those things. And then having a watering track to give you back the sunflowers as you plant them down, and then just constantly pumping out sunflower seeds. Uh, so it seems like with that strategy coming down, and other strategies being made stronger, that... The scores should have a little, uh, that this little ravine between 53 and 39 should be much more explored here. For the moment though, my name is Moon Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Atomic Rops. So hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, there's a playlist in the description down below with all of my content of this game, past, present, future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.